What's going on, everybody? It's the Green Shiz here. Hope everybody's having a good one. Happy Saturday. Happy weekend. Uh, I got a busy weekend in store for me, doing a bunch of stuff in my other house, get it listed up. Uh, coming off my discussion with Catch em All Collectibles, I completely did not plug his Patreon. Um, he's in a Patreon with uh, Pokenomics. I've not joined it personally, am probably joining it here very soon, but I wanted to let you know it definitely seems to be a very high value i've talked to a few people that are in it and they are extraordinarily happy so look to see me probably joining up in there um hope to see you guys in there he is uh dan's a great guy i've yet to talk to jake haven't reached out to him yet um but i really would like to he's one of the first pokey tubers you or poke youtubers whatever you want to call him he's a youtuber um, that I started following when uh, I got back into Pokemon, actually. So um, really would love to do that and actually sit down with him, a couple other ones. Um, but I like doing it. It's not, I never planned for it to be any type of podcast. It was literally just started uh, with uh, Get the Greg Games was the first one I did. And it was just uh, more to sit down with some other collectors in the uh, in the YouTube game just to talk to them. I, uh, and not just YouTube because talk to some big Instagram collectors and uh, there's more people in the collectible mindset um, to understand their thoughts and everything they're working on. So um, I like doing it. I like talking to other people that I relate to and uh, that I have gone and been following for these ex extensive periods of time. So um, I really enjoy it. So I'm definitely going to keep it up. Um, maybe coming to a Spotify near you. I don't know. We'll see. But definitely highly recommend this Patreon, um, Pokenomics and Catch Mall Collectibles. I uh, will see if I can link it down below. I believe I should be able to just copy and paste it. So definitely check it out. It's linked down below in the description. Um, this video, I'm just going to be going over some of my stuff that I plan on doing on my weekly lives for PWCC. So this again is kind of going to be a market analysis stuff. Um, I'm going weekly. I, let me just correct that. So these I'm going to have shown weekly and I'm going to get into it in one second. So I have some data that I'm going to be keeping up with every week. During the live, I won't be updating it. During the live, I'll just be going over and analyzing what's going on, cards I'm watching. Um, and some other cool highlights, stuff that's going on in the market. Um, but I did put together some spreadsheet that I'm going to show right now. And this is it. So this right here is my spreadsheet that I just put together. So I just kind of wanted to analyze different categories in PWCC's weekly auction. And as you see here, Pokemon is the king at 38% of the makeup of the entire auction. 1,200 cards, as I've mentioned before when I did the check on my previous video where I actually went through for the first half of the listings in the matter of 20 minutes, which is amazing. Um, just glancing at what cards were there, not looking at conditions and such. But 1,200 Pokemon cards. And basically, I broke it down a little bit further. You have 229 Japanese cards. 979 English cards, and then you see Watsi is about two-thirds of what is up and available. Um, that's great. I like seeing the vintage stuff, and most of this stuff is really high grade. There's a lot of 10s, a lot of 9s, but there is some splashes. There's, I think, a PSA 1 based on limited set I was looking at in there, which is pretty crazy, but a lot of vintage cards and I like the smaller quantity. It's going to be really nice to be able to look and analyze all the stuff way easier. So on top of that, there's this thing called Charizards down here. So I am going to be tracking the sale price of every Charizard PSA 10 that sells in a weekly PWCC auction. So I have the screenshot of the card, I have the name of it, and then I'll have the week and the sale price. So I have already listed every single Charizard here. Literally every single Charizard. 
um, that is currently for sale. This one here, you see there's four of them listed for sale. So I'm gonna have four different sales entries for this one. Um, so this would be just a really cool thing to track. There's not that many vintage ones at all here um, in a 10. So I'm just gonna be looking at 10s just to keep the, uh, there's one Expedition Charizard, um, just to keep the window narrow. Because <laughs> if I did nines and tens, this list would be insane. But keeping it at tens, it won't be a whole lot of work for me. Um, I already have it pre-done. So every week we might add a couple more Charizards, I'm guessing. This was like 22 Charizards in PSA 10. The Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection, Metal Charizard might pop off. We'll see. But this will be really cool. I'm not a huge, I don't buy Charizards, but this gives you an idea of what's going on in the market. So if I see a sale here and then I don't see another one until April, and that'll give me an idea of, okay, that's interesting. Like that's that's cool to know that that Charizard doubled in price. Why? Um, I'm gonna be doing something similar for base set. So base set unlimited, I'm gonna be looking at just the nines and the tens. Um, I don't believe there's even any tens in this auction. So I'll just be kind of tracking um, the sales prices of these cards just to see where they're going um, in any first edition base if they sell. There isn't any in this first auction. Um, so I think that'll def this will definitely be getting more as this goes on. The first week I understand a little bit, um, but also the biggest thing is like I want to see how these numbers change. So every week I'll have this breakdown, and then I'll be able to compare it week to week. I want to see how Pokemon is doing versus the other cards. Because right now, that's crazy. 1,200 Yu-Gi-Oh, come on, you need to step it up. Magic, it will step it up. Um, but that's crazy. 1,200 Pokemon is awesome. But the Charizards, again, that's huge. This will be awesome just to check out and see. Um, I'm really, really interested in seeing this and how this transpires. But in addition to this, um, I did just get a message from eBay today saying, congratulations, you've sold over $600. You just need to reconfirm your 1099, and then we're going to make sure you get the, uh, or reconfirm yourself so we can give you the 1099K. Um, so it's happening. Uh, be prepared. Contact a local CPA. Most of them um, will have like a free discussion. You can like you can get on a Zoom call with them, usually do an assessment and go from there. And that, that assessment's usually free. They want your business. So just talk to them and uh, maybe talk to three of them for free. Just to get an idea if you're doing everything right and make sure you're tracking everything you should be. Because you should definitely... Um, be doing okay. Like you should be expensing things, travel, if you're doing it right. If you're everything should be included in your sale. So if you sold a six hundred dollar card, you should include your the expense to that, your cost of goods sold, your your shipping fees, your packaging, your mileage. Like you just need to talk to a CPA and get that locked in because it's coming. Um, so if you weren't doing it before, you don't just sit, you don't just throw that away. Like when they, uh, when they come to you asking you to appear in court to be a, uh, what is it called? A jury member. A lot of people just throw those away, which is also probably illegal. Um, but you don't want to be throwing away a 1099 K once it pops up into your, uh, your mail. So IRS will get their money, whether it's, uh, taking it out of your, actual w-2 that you get your tax return or however but highly recommend you guys do some research um it'll just save you money in the long run so um it's really sad to see magic at 0.6 percent of their overall cards um i really also interested in seeing total sales so this one might be a little tougher i don't know if i'll be able to do this i really want to see how it goes but i want to do something um, as far as that goes, some type of tracker on that to see how they're comparing. What's the total market share of price? Um, and the last thing I'm going to mention is I did create a Discord. Um, it is linked down below in the description. 
and I recommend you join it. So what I'm going to be doing, um, I made a couple sections. One was for grails, another one for collection purchases or something. But under grails, just post a couple of your, maybe your favorite card. Um, I definitely would like to review those in the next week. Um, just look at some of the sweet cards on there and uh, just do like a blind reaction to it. Um, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I will, because I'll go in and edit it if I see anything inappropriate. Hopefully I don't, so I don't got to ban you. But go check out the Discord. Um, let me know what you think about this. Anything you can think of to add. Um, I'm constantly thinking I love statistics. So I'm really looking forward to literally just copying this every week and making a, making it again. Um, doing it every week and then putting the numbers up against each other, seeing how they're changing every week. I think it's really cool. I'm a numbers guy. Um, so that's going to be sweet. I'm going to leave y'all with that. Y'all have a good one. Peace. <laughs>